Hi there, welcome. Come right on in. Welcome to Home Keepers. So glad to be here. I know we're well into the new year. However, uh, a lot of our crew went on vacation at the end of uh, last year, and this is actually the first program we're making in the new year. And so uh, maybe it's a bit late, but Happy New Year, and I hope your uh, holidays were wonderful. And it's, I think it's wonderful how God is so into new beginnings. I mean, every morning, he said, but indeed, this I know that the loving kindness of the Lord never ceases, for his mercies are new every morning. So we get that, but we also get a brand new year. And usually a lot of uh, resolutions are made. So I hope you're right on track with yours. I just want to welcome you. Maybe this is the first time you've seen the program in a brand new year. Hope you will become a steady friend. And we're going to be talking about some of our regular viewers today. And this is, this is a program we just want to kind of love you and thank you for all you've done. And guess who my guests are? Wanda Bascom was, uh, she was our cook for many years and and her health kind of took her out at the time but you still say how's Wanda what's she doing a lot has happened to her um, you know her husband passed away and we'll tell you about her latest thing uh, when she joins me but she's always victorious Herman Bailey was talking to her the other day and he says Wanda you're always laughing well I think that's the joy of the Lord so Wanda's here you who've been asking about her and Stephanie uh, I know how much you love her because I get your emails and so forth. And uh, she's got a Facebook page for you. And also it's going to be the three of us. And guess what? We all wore black and white and didn't plan it. So somebody figure that out and let me know. And I'm going to join Stephanie and me. We're going to make a vegetarian chickpea, chickpea sandwich filling. I think I could really like this, depend on the seasoning, so we'll see. But before I join her, I again want to offer you the book Revival Then and Now by David and Kathy Walker. A lot of you have ordered this, and the last time I ordered it, it took quite a while to get it because Kathy has battled, and I think won, a bout of cancer. And so um, she wasn't able to get them to us, but put her on your prayer list, okay? You, a lot of you remember and know who she is. That book, I've been praying for revival in several churches, and we need it. We need it this year. So if you want it, that's $20. You use your credit card, 1-800-229-0059. All that information is on your screen. And Stephanie's going to give you our post office box number. Sure. Post office box 6922, Clearwater, Florida, 33758. Oh, that was so good. Thank you. Yes. I should have that memorized because in... Um, eight days, I start my 15th year here. I can't, crazy? I mean, it's you get a certain thing. age in time just. It goes by so fast. My wow. daughter was in kindergarten when I started working here, and now she's in college. So go figure. Can't believe it. Because <laughs> I was, I told you I was always, always going to call you Jennifer. Mm -hmm. well, Jennifer O'Neill. When, when, well, that's because when Bob first introduced <laughs> to me, he said, our new staff member is Jennifer O'Neill. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Um, we're going to talk about a lot of the things that you get, but you know when you wonderful people email us for a recipe, a lot of times you put in the sweetest things. Please know it's appreciated. Oh, it's so very much. Okay, so yeah. I'm, I'm not going to share pictures from my trip yet, but I did want to share something. I went and saw my aunt and uncle. I had not seen my cousins. I figured it out. I was saying 25 years. It's well over 30. But my Aunt Mary watches our show. She loves it. And Good. she gave me this adorable towel. It says, hey, y'all. Is that <laughs> so, so cute? It's so pretty. I love it. It's I like know. a... <gasps> Look how cute. Gardenia. Something. So I want to say yeah. thank you, Aunt Mary. I love yes. my towel. I'll be using it every show. And <laughs> hi, Aunt Mary. Yes. Thanks for watching. Yes. Yeah. So, so happy. Okay, we're going to make a sandwich film. Okay, so... So I came to you after, at the end of the year mm -hmm. last year. I said, okay, in January, let's do healthy mm -hmm. stuff because we've all been eating crazy over oh. the holidays because evidently it doesn't count over the holidays. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> well, now it counts. So the this calories is one of the healthy stop ones. at Thanksgiving. And then they yeah. Not here. Mm -hmm. They don't mm -hmm. stop. Just here. No. <laughs> they stop right here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we have chickpeas. Do you know what I was thinking? Chickpeas are like... A blank canvas. They don't taste like anything. Yeah. So you could do. Yeah. So Are you I have. Real hard? Yes, I am. They're hard. <laughs> so I have. They're squishing a little bit. Yeah. 
Um, I have onions, I have celery, I have dill weed, which I'm 12 years old and that makes me laugh. Uh -huh. I have salt and pepper, I have mayonnaise, and I have lemon juice. Mm. Okay, well, <laughs> you know, I need a sharper. I wonder if we shouldn't put those in the blender. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. If they want to put, put it in a food processor, yeah, I that think would I be would because it, it'll spread easier. Yeah, those are really hard. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that okay. potato masher didn't do it. Yeah, so onions. I'm not that gonna, looks like a lot. Yeah, I just put some of those. How about that? Celery, mm -hmm. dill weed. Like I say, the, the seasoning's got to be right. Yes, salt, because salt and pepper. Uh huh. And we got a, and we got a wheat bag a wheat bagel mm -hmm. healthy. We're trying to be healthy here. Mm -hmm. And then we have lemon juice, mm -hmm. which I think is going to add a nice little tang. I just wonder if that's enough mayo to bind it together. Well, let's just see, shall we? Let's get that all if in not, there. Uh, you can always add more. Yeah. And I understand you had the most, you are truly, truly blessed. You had a glorious holiday. Season. Oh, I did. Oh, I thank God for it. It's just mm -hmm. some of the best. So many family members. Uh -huh. You got treated to meals. And mm -hmm. you went right from your birthday celebration to, <laughs> like, her <laughs> birthday lasted like six weeks. It was a marathon. <laughs> <laughs> she kept coming in and telling me all the places that people were taking. Take like, it, I and know I'm not it. talking about, like, um, Carabas. I'm talking about, like, Ruth Chris, okay? <laughs> It was great. Yes. Okay. Actually, this looks really, really good. Yeah. But uh, we didn't know they were that hard, so I would really suggest the yeah, food processor. Yeah, probably food processing would be a lot good. faster. Those were really hard. Let's. Okay. And I also Squish think that on there. It would be better if you let it hang out a while. Oh yeah, it needs all the flavors need to marry. <coughs> okay. Take a bite. Try it. Mm. Oh, it's good. I like it. I don't think you do. No. I'm just I'm looking at your face. I like it. Those need to be food processed. Yeah. But yeah. it's but very the tasty. Good. Very tasty, yeah. And um, that is a good way to cut the calories. Mm -hmm. If you want this recipe, Absolutely free. Either write us or email us, and we will get it right out to you. Yeah, uh, we'll be happy to. I, I strongly recommended this, and I was really questioning the whole thing. So, uh, email us or write to us, and we'll be glad to get it out to you. If you would like a copy of today's recipe, just write to the address on your screen, or you can email your request to. Artheline at rippy.org. Okay, you guys, Wanda's here. We got to give her a good welcome Yay. back. <laughs> Wanda and same old Stephanie. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wanda and what's her name? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, <clears throat> a lot of people, I, I think it's really interesting the impact you made. You know, while, while you were on, because people still act, ask about you, and uh, you have been on one time since your husband passed mm -hmm. away. That's mm -hmm. what, how long ago? It, it will actually be three years this coming March mm -hmm. 23rd. He'll be gone. That doesn't seem possible. No, I know. No, and um, you've, d you've just done great. Now, Wanda, <laughs> I won't say anything negative, but sometimes you wait for the next shoe to drop. Now, tell us about the latest shoe that dropped. Well, I fell in my kitchen and I broke my kneecap and broke my toe, but I, I did a fantastic lunge. I'm just thinking if there was a, a trainer in my, in my kitchen that saw me do this fabulous lunge, because I had dishes in my hand, so when I went down, I'm like, oh. So I'm trying to save the dishes. In the meantime, I crucify myself. But. And you were actually out about 10 weeks. Uh, actually 11. Yeah. Yeah. Forever. <laughs> I know it because <laughs> yeah, you had to do the work <laughs> because a knee you know, it doesn't yeah. heal overnight and no. I am thrilled you're back but thank 
to Stephanie yes. and Judy and Jenny. They kind of pitched in and mm -hmm. yes, we, we, all do. we got it. So well, welcome. Thank, thank you. Thank My you. Pleasure. Welcome back. <laughs> okay, I have a few <laughs> things that we get from you wonderful people. And as we mentioned at the top of the program, we do not take lightly that you take a minute to write a note of appreciation. So some of you are pretty funny. Um, <laughs> I also, this is from Georgia. I also like to tell you that I've been watching Homekeepers for a few years now and I really love it. I record it every day and look forward to watching it when I get home from work. Arthelene has fabulous guests. And may I just stop to say the Lord sends them. I can't take any credit for it. And I really enjoy Stephanie and the cooking portion of the show. I don't do Facebook because I think it's an international gossip column. <laughs> but if I did, I would certainly be a fan, Stephanie. So you can officially add one, one to your fan club, mm -hmm. even though. Um, but let me say this about Facebook. I'm on it personally with friends and so forth. I use it as a, as a prayer meeting. And there's no gossip on mine. I don't mm -hmm. know. Um, but uh, we call people to prayer. Yes, you do. Yes. So it's a blessing. What have you got? Okay, this is one of the ones that really meant a lot to me. Um, let's see. I wanted to tell you that I love watching your program with Arthlene, my program with Arthlene. <laughs> <laughs> As it should be. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I've had a closed head brain injury. It just affected my emotions and my back. They're not highs and lows. They're most like absent. I've lost the yearn to do the things I loved doing before my accident. I was a member of a woman's Bible study, went to church regularly, attended a weekly Bible class, walked and rode my bike. Now I've stayed home for 17 years and in bed for the past three. My yearning has oh my dwindled, goodness. lost a lot of interaction with my family. But since I've watched your program, especially the cooking part, I've dared to write down your recipes, and now I've made it to the kitchen to join my daughter with the cooking and attempted your recipes. You've made them so fun and easy to make. Well, I just wanted to let you know that you have done our family good. Man, what? I need a that Kleenex. That was great. <laughs> awesome. You know, you come in here and you just do, you know, you just joke yeah. around for a few minutes and <clears throat> maybe share a few recipes and hope that something, yeah. somebody gets something out of it this I don't have time to go into it, but the cooking is so important. I've told guests, I says, listen, people don't tune in to see me, and they're not going to tune in to see you. Mm -hmm. They want to see the they want to see the recipe. Right. But beyond that, and someday we'll do a whole show on it. Just just that table experience mm -hmm. and the family and the food. Jesus was always sitting down eating. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and so there's there's a whole lot behind that. Now you read, uh, you read. All the mail, maybe except the emails. Oh, yeah. what, what's your overall viewpoint of it? You know, um, everyone loves you and loves you in the cooking segment. And they um, especially love the guests that you interview. Um, it's, it's highly educational. Mm -hmm. And they're learning things that they did not know. And you're also equipping I like to say equipping the saints. Yeah. But that's extremely important. And, you know, as you say, you, we, we, we joke around about the, the food, but mm -hmm. statistics say just two to three meals with your children a week keeps yeah. them off of drugs. Mm -hmm. And that, that to me is important. Yeah. And mothers these days, I feel bad because mothers these days are running ragged and having to work a full-time job and come home and try to cook a meal. Well, they're exhausted mm -hmm. and you feel bad. Mm -hmm. but. You know, a, a placemat, a napkin, teaching a mm -hmm. child how to put the, how to dress a table. It, it, it isn't difficult, but how important it is. Mm -hmm. And my sons, who are much older now, and my grandchildren always say, Nana, we love to come to your house because you fix fabulous food. Yes, and she does. So that's, those are memories. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they say, it's love. Mm -hmm. So when they can come back, and my 13-year-old granddaughter can say, Nana, you love me so much. You do this for me, and you do this for me. And I'm thinking, that's how important the cooking segment is. As, yeah. as much as we go, oh, you There's know. There's so much but, more behind it. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, it has absolutely so much meaning. You got another one? I do. And actually, I have a picture that goes along okay. with this one. So if we could pull that picture up that I gave you, please. And it says... Um, I shared a picture on my Facebook page of a Christmas village that somebody had set up and they had taken a ladder and put shelves on it and mm -hmm. snow yeah, and everything, yeah. you know. And so I got this, hi, Stephanie, I've never been able to display my snow 
village very well until this year. I was inspired by your picture a while ago with the red ladder displaying a Christmas village. I took an old shelving rack that was in my garage, spray painted it black, and there you have it. Uh huh. So I. That's did awesome. Did we put it up? I didn't see it. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there it is. There it oh, is. Oh, that's fabulous. Yeah. So just simple little ideas you yes. know you hope you put things up and people see them but it inspired her to put a christmas village do you know what thrills me uh, about what wanda said is that a lot of people are getting what my dream was mm -hmm. and that's mm -hmm. to educate mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and equip uh, we talk about money we talk about relationships we talk about marriage absolutely we talk about everything and sometimes you give out a life-saving nugget Mm -hmm. of truth mm -hmm. that they've never heard mm -hmm. and I thank God for that. Let's see what I've got. I so enjoy your show watching at 5:30 in the morning. Uh, this morning's last minute message from you regarding valuing time was especially convicting. Also thank you for the week you had uh, Pastor Ken Whitten on. Mm -hmm. Remember that from Idlewild Baptist. Um, it's time to talk about uh, t the time management, biblical principles, and all in 30 minutes. It looked like a sticky assembly, but the final look of the patties, <laughs> your <laughs> yummy response to the patties has placed a must-have list. Would you please forward the recipe to me? Thank you so much, and thank you for providing interesting and relevant programming. Remember that one? We didn't think they were going <laughs> to, and we throw them in the oil or something, and they, they happened to work. Yep. Yeah. You got another one? Um. Yeah, you know, I, I talk about paying off bills and yeah. all of that. And I got one on my Facebook page and she said, I just made my last car payment. Yay! Oh, so yay for I, you. Oh, her What's her name? I didn't I didn't put names, but yeah. she knows who she is. Yeah. <laughs> Mary, so she was so excited will, that she Mary. made her last car payment. So that was exciting. Uh, my schedule has changed, so I miss watching the entire program in the mornings, but I am blessed to see and catch the recipe segment, <laughs> <laughs> as we were saying. Um, let's see. Oh, thank, thanks for, for your good shows. They are much needed today for our families. There was one I couldn't, I, I love because she said, uh, oh. Uh, <laughs> no, she said you and I rock, whatever oh. that means. <laughs> I get a lot that say you guys you know are how so old I was. Funny. You really take that as a compliment. That is a compliment. Um, I have one that says, I don't watch much TV because the constant commercial interruptions really does something to my attention span. But I enjoy you and Arthleen every morning. I must say I have received a lot of the enrichment from the homekeeper's guests, books, recipes, etc. I started a homekeeper's envelope as part of my Dave Ramsey system at the beginning of the year. That's and wonderful. now it's an and now it's an amount I'm not embarrassed to send in, tee hee. And we'll be doing that during the telethon. Praise God for yeah. that. Yes. Well, it's it's wonderful to see that. Um, you know, I think uh, when the Bible says to write the vision, mm -hmm. uh, we do that on our formats every time that we tape, mm -hmm. and and it's nice just to get just a little bit of of feedback from it. Mm -hmm. Now, Stephanie here, uh, Juan and I were were raised really church church life and all that. Oh yeah. And Stephanie. Is not shy to tell us her story, and I appreciate that because mm -hmm. you met your husband in a dance hall or something in a bar. Yep. And, and I asked, <laughs> "Oh, when did you get your first kiss?" She said, "In, in the, the parking, parking lot, lot of the bar." Of the bar. <laughs> <laughs> not my first kiss That's ever, funny. but my first kiss from, which we'll be celebrating 21 years mm -hmm. marriage That's at the awesome. end of this month. That's wonderful. And it wouldn't happen if you hadn't come to the Lord. Oh, no, no, no. Goodness, no. Okay, if you heard her story, a couple times she's mentioned that you got married and it was not going well. And your husband said, I know what we need to do. Mm -hmm. We need to get in church. Mm -hmm. Now, where was he coming from? That, that he was... had been in church previous. Mm -hmm. He and his sister used to go a lot. So he knew the Lord and he was backslidden, basically. I, I had been to church twice in my mm -hmm. life and, but he said I know I know where we need to go and I said um okay he's like I have a church and he said Pentecostal and mm -hmm. I was like whoa wait a minute <laughs> I've heard about all those churches I'm like I'm not going up to the altar and, mm -hmm. and I ended up going so to, the went altar to the altar that day <clears throat> wow well that's another train up a child in a way mm -hmm. she go he knew mm -hmm. he knew where to go mm -hmm. now this is always my question I don't know about Wanda but you and I raised, really raised in church. We, mm -hmm. were, we were taught the ways of the Lord. Our lives weren't perfect. But 
to me, the absolute confirmation of the scriptures and the truth and Jesus is this one. Mm -hmm. Because you're coming from the outside and you recognize the reality and it changes your life, it changes your family, it changes everything. Mm -hmm. And I love to hear those because I was a church kid who went to the altar every Sunday night. Right. No. <laughs> so, so you weren't raised in the church at all. Uh -uh. So did you believe that there was a God? Um, sure. Yeah. I mean, of course, I prayed when necessary. <laughs> you know, I'm like, oh, God, if you don't get me out of this <laughs> one, I promise I'll never do this again until yeah. the next time. Like, you oh, picked Lord. that up somewhere. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. And um, it's, it's, been, it's been fun to watch you because before they got a handle on their finances. Here's another, I mean, they were America Family USA. Yes. Credit cards out the wazoo. And, and I, I didn't know for sure what was going on, but you might have noticed it too, because Juan is very perceptive. But when, when they got a handle on that, she changed. I always... Well, you feel you were, like the weight of the world yeah, is on you when yeah. you're so far in debt. I didn't sleep. I would sit at night and I would just think of, you know, take from Peter to pay Paul and mm -hmm. what can I balance and what can I juggle and mm -hmm. it, it's the weight of the world. I mean, it really is. Yes. You wouldn't have learned that without the principles of the Lord. Mm -mm. Wouldn't have learned it without Dave Ramsey and books and things and like tithing. that. And tithing. Uh -huh. I mean, you know, I didn't know about tithing before I, you know, came to church or anything like that. So Yeah, because you did appear that the weight was off, mm -hmm. was off of your shoulders. Uh, Wanda, we're almost out of time, but you've really s appeared to be very triumphant. And I got to say, Wanda and Bill had one of the best marriages I've ever seen. You were married to a prince of men. He was. It was wonderful. Yes. And yet you seem to be doing okay. You've got joy. I have joy, and I cannot believe what God has brought me through. Mm -hmm. and, oh, that's and a, that's another story. We I'm, need to I'm telling you, us. from every, I, mm -hmm. I just, I can't even, you know, we don't have time to go mm -hmm. into everything, but I will tell you, I, I have to think mm -hmm. that Wednesday morning, he died that following Saturday morning early, but that Wednesday morning, I was up with him all night long, and he, he said, can you come over here? I want to pray for you. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, for me, I mean, seriously, mm -hmm. I, I should be praying for you, but I can't because mm -hmm. I cry at mm -hmm. the moment. I just can't. And so he started to pray for me, but he asked God to please bless my wife and protect her in the future. And Father, I give you my children and my grandchildren. And I knew that he was laying them he down. Was, he, he knew he was going. He knew he was going. And I didn't realize the power of, of that prayer, mm -hmm. but I've seen the hand of God over my family. And since, so have I. Yes. It's, it's wonderful. Uh, I just like to say there's wonderful people working here at the Christian Television Network. And one of these days I'm going to get a picture of all these camera people and Brooke, who is our floor director, and our audio and people in the director's booth and MCR and all. Um, they are wonderful, wonderful people. Yes. And on this program of the first year, uh, or the first uh, of a brand new year, I just want to really thank them. Uh, thank you, girls, and you make the journey lots of fun. And most of all, uh, thank the Lord for the opportunity. The scripture says we are workers together with mm. him. Wow, what a privilege. And you make it all happen. So stay with me. I have a couple things to say before we have to say goodbye. Arthelene would like you to keep the following information handy. You may contact Homekeepers by writing to Homekeepers, P.O. Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida, 33758, or go to www.rippy.org. Remember, we always enjoy hearing from our viewers, and we thank you for your support. Okay, I want to remind you again that we are offering the book Revival, Then and Now, by David and Kathy Walker, these wonderful people who've been on the program with us many times, and I'm sure that you feel acquainted with them. An important book, and for that gift of at least $20, we'll get it to you. Uh, if you use your credit card, debit card, 1-800-229-0059, and the address is on your screen.
Green, if you write to us, that's Box 6922, Clearwater, Florida, 33758. You know, it's both wise and beneficial to look back over the past year. No doubt there is much to learn from the choices we made, some good and some not so good. However, I believe that 2016 is a pivotal year for the United States of America because we will be electing a new president. Now is the time to begin to study the candidates and know for certain what the platform is for each party. America has strayed so far from God and his written word at times I fear we are at a point of no return. It is no secret that many evangelical Christians did not vote in the last election. Some estimates are as high as 54 million born-again Christians stayed away from the polls. That is beyond shameful. As a result, we now have a Supreme Court that sanctioned homosexual marriage, along with every possible effort to protect that woman's right to choose. Personally, I will support a pro-choice position when the baby is given a choice. Oh, yes, our elected officials also voted to continue funding Planned Parenthood with your hard-earned tax dollars and mine. And that angers me. Planned Parenthood is the organization that following an abortion will at times chop up the baby to sell its parts. What can we do? Well, really, it's not rocket science. First of all, be educated and know what each candidate stands for. Then pray, 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 and do not allow anyone or anything to keep you from the ballot box. And remember, we're not voting for a pastor or a spiritual leader. We're voting for the candidate whose moral values are the closest to reflect biblical values. I was thrilled to learn that Reverend Franklin Graham will be holding prayer rallies on the steps of each Capitol State House this year leading up to the presidential election. He's already begun, and the Christian Television Network plans to keep our viewers informed about these events. Reverend Graham stated that no candidate visits all 50 states, but he will for the purpose of calling prayer warriors to each state to pray for our nation. If you live in the capital city of your state, why not make plans to join him? It's time for thousands of believers to come together to repent and ask God's forgiveness for allowing this great nation to become what it has become. God's word is true and it is written, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn, 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 turn from their if wicked ways. That's the wicked ways of the church, friends. Then will I hear from heaven. I will forgive their sin. And I will heal their land. America is in need of a major, major healing. And the scripture states it is in the hands of the believer. Think about it. And please remember, there's no higher calling than that of a homekeeper. God bless you.